Well, a guy had to dip back into the old wallet and buy more parts for the Supra. That's fine. Everything is fine. The good news is, I think we're finally done buying parts for this thing. Fingers and toes crossed. The not so good news, it has cost way more than I ever thought this swap was going to cost. It's, it's made this budget friendly swap not budget friendly at all. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me? Great. So let's dive in and see if we can make this thing move under its own power for the first time in a very long time. Welcome to Dirty Curdy Custom. Introduced in 1986, the third generation Mark III marked the first time Toyota officially made the Supra its own model. Compared to its predecessor, the Mark III was fitted with a new rear-wheel drive chassis, a sportier wedge design, and a bigger, more powerful six-cylinder engine. The A70 turned the Supra from an upgradable option package to a legitimate sports car. In the U.S., the sole engine available for the 1986 model year Supra was Toyota's then-new, naturally aspirated 24-valve 3-liter 7MG EU in line six, which produced 200 horsepower and 196 pound feet of torque. Then in 1987, Toyota offered the 7M GTE, also a 24 valve three liter in line six. Still, the GTE benefited from the addition of a turbocharger, which boosted power, no pun intended, to an impressive 232 horsepower and 254 pound feet of torque. The Supra Turbo outperformed every other car in terms of acceleration, achieving a then remarkable in 1987 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 6.9 seconds and completing the quarter mile in 15.4 seconds at 91.8 miles per hour. All right. Awesome. Uh, I think Caden already opened this one the other day. And we have power steering line and PVC grommet. Ordered the PVC, didn't come with a new grommet, had to order that. Awesome. All right, next we'll go here. Box number two. I think I said that was box number one, but oops. All right, let's see. Platinum drive line, okay. This must be the clutch slate holder. So I've been ordering the cheapest stuff that I can find for this. I mean, except for the, some of the stuff on Drift Motion, really expensive. I got this stuff on Rock Auto, so we got a clutch slave. Hopefully it is the right one. Or that's a clutch master cylinder, excuse me. Got some cool little cars. Ooh, Grand National. Mm -hmm. What is in box number three? See, two boxes. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. We have decided not to go electric fans. So this is the clutch for a fan and it's for a 7MG because they're a little bit shorter. So I think we have to space it out a little bit. Shouldn't be a big deal. Good, it came with hardware. Also got this off Rock Auto, cheapest one I could find. See, I also got some shrink wrap, some vacuum caps, some of these uh, rubber insulated clamps. Number four, five, six, seven. I don't even know what one anymore. Also, I've never tried these uh, Kujet solder seal wire connectors. 
Um, I hate soldering. I'm not good at it, but I do try to do it whenever I'm wiring up a up, up car. So I want to try these out, see how they work on this car. If I like them, then, you know, I'll probably buy more. We might, I don't know. Hopefully that's enough. Let's see, radiator. I don't know. I think I thought I ordered more than this. I know we're still waiting on the drive shaft, but I thought I ordered some more. Maybe this stuff just hasn't showed up yet. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this is everything we need. Also, I couldn't find a radiator here that worked, so I had to go and buy a radiator. And the prices for radiators nowadays are ridiculous. So I bought the cheapest one I could find off Rock Auto. And this is it. It's a plastic tank. I wanted to kind of get an aluminum one, paint it black, you know, make it look good. But could not find an affordable aluminum radiator. The ones on eBay, you know, a couple hundred dollars cheaper than ones I could find on Drift Motion or anywhere else on the internet. You know, like Mishimoto or... Uh, Megan Racing stuff like that The ones on eBay are a little bit cheaper, but the shipping is like ridiculous a hundred dollars So it makes it not even cheaper and I don't know. So We went with a factory Replacement from Rock Auto cheapest one I could get Got a couple little dings and the Cooling fins, but hopefully no leaks. Hopefully it's all good and good shape and this should be skinny enough to fit a, fan, a clutch fan on this thing. I thought I ordered a fan shroud. Maybe I'm still waiting on that. I don't know. So, let's get to work putting this stuff on the car. All right, start with the radiator. Well, the Lexus had the mounts we need. Awesome. It's still kind of a bummer that radiator didn't fit in here because that's actually got a nice little setup on it with the tank and everything. Okay, so I have finished the radiator. I got the brand new power steering line on and while I was under there, I hooked up a couple grounds that need to be hooked up and I believe a package just showed up okay here we go let's open this one first since we know what that is I'm like 83.7% sure this is going to be the fan blade and the alternator. Bubble wrap! So yeah, fan blade here. Brand new Rock Auto. That's a Ison Ison fan, which is good stuff. Toyota alternator. This bad boy was expensive. I got a okay. I got a label here. We got to ship this back. Ship the core back to them. Get like fifty dollars back. Yeah. Well, here. Brand new alternator. Hopefully the right one. Not cheap. Not budget friendly. All right, the crown jewel, what we've all been waiting for. And I hope that I measured right because math is not my strong suit. Oh yeah, come on, I wanted to see the beauty. This is nice. Sure. No close. Let's 
See, now I got some other packages from eBay. Not wrapped up this good. Drift motion, very good. Wrapping, boxing. Pretty much how I would wrap something. Oh, they gave me new driveline bolts, which is awesome. I actually, when I bought that rear diff, I uh, stole the driveline bolts from that guy. I would have taken the whole driveline, but um, they have like a, I don't know, some other five speed transmission, so it wouldn't work with the W58. Had a different yoke on it. Once again, shout out to Poppy for buying this expensive, nice drive line. I know he's watching. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now the wrapping's too good. I'm going to scratch it. Christmas morning. Ah! Yeah, so these are the bolts that they gave me. And I'm not a big fan of the Allen heads, you know, the came with lock washers. These are like factory driveline bolts. So I just stole the lock washers and I think I'm going to use the factory ones unless I have to. If I'm wrong and these are better, uh somebody comment down below and tell me you know if i should be using these or whatever if you're from drift motion let me know i don't know but i'm gonna use the factory ones if they work <sighs> drive shaft is in all right the drive shaft is in i've hit my first snag this fan clutch fan does not fit, bolt holes don't line up. I had read online that this would work. So I don't know if this is a different water pump on this motor, but anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is mark some new holes, drill my own holes in it and make it work. Unless I have another Toyota one I could go, I might have one out back. Yeah, I should have known, never trust the internet when it came to that fan. Should have just bought a 2JZ clutch. So, I don't know. Time to play some b-ball. School this kid. Okay, so I think I'm going to hold off on the fan for a minute because I want to start tackling some of this wiring. And for some reason nothing in the back of the car was working so i kind of want to start testing stuff i'm not sure if i'm gonna need a power distribution block or if we can plug into the original ecu wiring down there maybe use some of those wires as 12 volt sources so the old ecu was down under the glove box so come here i'll show you come on Come take a look. So up under here, there used to be ECU mounted right up in here. And I have all these plugs. And I believe that those plugs are the harness that goes over to the fuse block. So I'm going to get a voltmeter, start testing some of this stuff, see what we can do. Let's see here. Kaden! Kaden! Oh, I guess I'm here by myself. <sighs> I'll get the voltmeter. All right. Let's see here. I wonder what Caden's doing today. Hmm. I think he's at a friend's house. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I got to hook up a battery. Dang. All right, battery's hooked up. This is also where I need someone to tell me if we got lights. We got a buzzer. Huh. Well, this is the part where I gotta hook this to that and that to this and this to that, you know, all that stuff. So, 
If you want to see more about how I wired the engine ECU on this, check out my other video. Um, I go into more detail on it then, so I'm going to get to work on this and I'll get back with you guys later. So I just kind of want to show you guys how long this car has been sitting. Some of these fuses, I'm pulling fuses out. I need to go buy some. Cross my fingers, hoping I wouldn't have to spend any more money, and I do. So, but as I'm pulling fuses, things are starting to work more. So, this is a good sign that you know we just need some fuses. Yeah, so I'm starting to get more lights on the dash. This rear defrost light came on. I found a control for the window, and the window works. The window wasn't working before. Battery's going dead. I'm gonna have to throw it on the charger. But still no fuel pump. Okay, I have pretty much got all the wire done. It looks messy because I have just a bunch of wires here and I have way too many wires going to the battery. I'm gonna have to buy a distribution block for this, but I got everything fused, everything's permanent. So you guys can just pretend that you didn't see this. And I think it's time to go crack the key, see what's going to happen. As you can see, I've been thrashing on this thing, and things got a little out of hand trying to figure out the wiring on this thing. But we got power to the back of the car now. The fuel pump's wired up. Everything's wired up. So let's see what it does. All right. Let's see, I should have this hooked to the key. Neutralis. It's time to let her eat, Buckwheat. Here we go. I still, we still have to do the clutch, master cylinder, fix the fan, um, alternator's bad, so we got to change the alternator, and I still need a throttle cable, uh, or figure out the throttle cable, I, I think I have one off the Lexus, we'll see if that'll work, so let's finish that stuff up, see if we can drive this. Well, we still have no fan on here, but I got the master cylinder and stuff hooked up, so let's see if it'll move. Number two, uh, had some stuff in the way.
moves. Two moves. Did not want to go back. Clutch needs adjusted. Still no fan on it. We got to wait till we get a fan tomorrow. So we can't drive this thing, but moved out under its own power. Now we can start cleaning up our mess. Yes. All right. I topped up the water. We still got no fan, but uh, I might drive it around the road a little. Tomorrow when we get a fan, we're definitely taking this thing further. It's a new day here on the Supra. Um, we drove it yesterday, but that wasn't good enough. We got to take this thing further down the road. So I ran down to O'Reilly's, picked up the cl fan clutch. Still not the right one. Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to try to wire up an electric fan on this today. I guess that's the route we're going to go. Unless you guys know what water pump we need for this engine to fit a 2JZ fan clutch on here. If you guys know, comment down below. Um, so we got a few things we're gonna do. Throw, I'm gonna have Caden throw the front bumper on, throw the seats on. I'm gonna work on the alternator, which I still haven't done, and getting some fans wired up on this. Uh, I gotta cut down that air box so the hood will fit, and then we'll go for a little bit longer drive. All right, it's time to customize this air filtration system and customizing is what we do best around here. Ah, hot plastic. Oh, birds. I don't recommend doing this at home. I got Caden ripping this, ripping a little carpet out and vacuuming it up. The floor is a little rusty there, but I think we can save it. Carpet was nasty, so he's gonna get that cleaned out, put the seats in. Okay, I got the air box done. Um, I had to cut this fan in half from the Lexus, but we got a fan. So we can go for an actual drive now. I still got messy wiring. Just pretend you didn't see that. Uh, I put a check valve on the brake booster vacuum line. These wires are the transmission wires for the Lexus. We got to cut those out. Caden got the interior put together mostly. No carpet. Dash somewhat put together. We're missing a glove box. Needs a new steering wheel. But I think we are ready to go for a drive, a longer drive. Uh, I gotta get it started up, see if the new alternator's charging, but we should be good to go.
maybe not. this plug off and it was really bad pulled it off the alternator so I cleaned it with some electrical cleaner I'm letting it dry charging the battery up some we are close people we are close to driving Caden got the front bumper on looks pretty good not the right front bumper the blinkers didn't fit we need a turbo bumper but yeah almost ready to go for a drive you got these mud flaps on too those did fit good so yeah, almost ready. These are the seats out of the Lexus, if I didn't already say that. To go for a drive now, I'm gonna get this battery and fan hooked up and we'll go.
baby, make it home. Let's see if this thing this is why it's cutting out yeah not charging 11.59 thankfully it didn't get too hot looks like we're still leaking some water up there on the heater core but we went from 13 to 11.65 so that's definitely our issue well we did it we took a car that had been off the road for, I'm guessing, 15 to 20 years. Complete empty shell, put a 2JZ in it, got it to run and drive down the road. Now I know, I know, there's still a lot to do to this thing, but hey, it runs and drives. So if you guys want to see more of this car, comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Check us out next time on Dirty Curdy Customs. Thank you.